Zidon Danny, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. In today's video, I am going to be giving my predictions for the PS5 announcement, whatever it is that we're going to call it, that is happening later today. I will try to leave a link down in the description to PlayStation's Twitch, and remember that starts at 1 o'clock PST. I will not be live streaming it, however, I will record my reactions as well as I will uh, talk about what I, uh, what I saw in tomorrow's video. So expect that, but yeah. Anyways guys, let's get talking about what I expect we will see with the PlayStation 5 announcement or whatever we're gonna call it so first off absolutely we are going to see what the console looks like uh honestly i think it's gonna look really nice really sleek most likely going to still have some of the big features from the uh from all the way back in playstation 2 to currently uh such as the being able to be stood up or lay on its side uh i don't think that it's gonna look like that weird u shape thing that we've all seen floating around that honestly looks really weird so yeah i'm honestly not thinking that that's gonna be showing up at all um as for games i do think that there will be some games revealed that will be coming out either with or shortly after the PlayStation 5. Uh, there's not really any good things to expect. Um, obviously, any uh, there's going to be some first-person shooters, probably some sports games and stuff like that. Probably a few fighters. But, uh, honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll get a Soul Calibur, maybe we'll get a Tekken, maybe we'll get the other things. I, I don't know. Expect a fighter. There's Those are just common. Uh, like I said, shooter, fighter, and uh, uh, sports games. Expect w one of each of those to show up. So, yeah. There's a few other games as well that are possibilities, but I'm honestly uncertain. Uh, as for younger audience type things, I would expect there to still be some of that. Like, um, maybe they'll have another Little Big Planet. Never played the original, so I, or any of the Little Big Planets, so I don't know what the heck that is. But I do know that they have made they've had them come out around the same time that those would release so there's that uh i also believe that there will be a spyro game be it spyro or crash bandicoot or uh some other big mascot type character uh from back in the playstation 1 and playstation 2 eras where those guys were really big and important. So I do think that you should expect something from them. It's just, it's to be expected because these guys are pretty big. Um, next, I do think that there will be some superhero thing. After the huge success of Spider-Man PS4, I would absolutely expect there to be something that's going to be showing up there. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Um, uh, next, I want to give a kind of a weak thing that is kind of in the back of my mind, and that is something from Team Eco. The simple fact of the matter is that there's still a decent amount of story that they could do with the Eco series. And I absolutely loved The Last Guardian, so if they do continue this series, I absolutely think that I will be picking up whatever the new game is once it comes out. However, knowing the fact that they take a long time, I would not expect this game to be a 
with the game release. More likely it will be announced there and then it will be shown off at a later date. Uh, next up is level 5. Uh, I do think that level 5 is going to be bringing something to the table. After the huge success of Nino Kuni and Nino Kuni 2, they would be fools to not do something for the PS4 or the, for the PS5. But there is something else that I think is actually slightly more likely. While Nino Kuni is extremely popular now, it doesn't hold a candle to another series that a lot of fans have been begging for since the PS2 era, and that is Dark Cloud. I've talked about Dark Cloud before, and honestly, I think that this may be the console that we could see a Dark Cloud 3. And that is honestly something that I think a lot of fans would be really happy about. Most likely, if they were to reveal that at the PS5, they would get more sales for the PlayStation 5 than ever before. Like, as soon as you, uh, you say, hey, Dark Cloud 3 is gonna be one of the launching titles with the PlayStation 5, you will instantly get tons and tons of pre-orders to the PlayStation 5. People will be zooming over to every possible place, just looking for the PlayStation 5 and um, Dark Cloud 3, because it's insane how much people would absolutely probably kill people just so that they could play dark cloud 3 seriously a lot of people love that game and i'm one of those people who really loves that game and i probably would pre-order the ps5 and uh dark cloud 3 as soon as that gets renounced so yeah uh, <laughs> but We'll just have to wait and see what to expect. As for Square, uh, first off, I do think that there is going to be something involving Nier. Uh, I didn't pull out the game, but I do think that because of the fact that Nier Automata, uh, Nier Automata did really well, I think that they are kind of thinking, maybe we should start work on the next Nier and release it with the PS5. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, but for their bigger series, Final Fantasy, I think that Final Fantasy 16 is coming our way. The simple fact of the matter is that a lot of people love Final Fantasy, and if a 16 is on the way, then, yeah. The problem is, though, that they have only released one main Final Fantasy game per console since the PS2. <laughs> like, seriously, if you don't know about that, uh, basically, the only game, or the only Final Fantasy that was released for the PS2 was 10. Uh, like, I think 6 onward were all no wait maybe four onward were all released on the ps1 uh, up until nine and then 10 was released on the ps2 11 and 14 don't count 13 was on the uh, ps3 and then 15 was released on the ps5 so if they're going to continue with this current layout then they're going to at least announce something at this point because 15 was an when the PS4 was announced. P uh, Final Fantasy 15 or Final Fantasy 15 was announced, so expect that to be happening. Um, also, uh, expect a Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, it could be Kingdom Hearts 4. It could more actually uh, probably more likely what it's going to be is it's going to be the next Kingdom Hearts game, like between Kingdom Hearts 4 and uh, Kingdom. Hearts. Uh, and Kingdom Hearts 3, basically whatever's between there. 
Uh, most likely what that game is going to be is it's going to be a Union Cross remake. Basically just so that fans who really, really hate the phone game can pick up this game for their PS5 and then they can just play it and actually enjoy it in comparison to playing the bullcrap that is the phone game. Like, seriously, if you haven't played Union Cross, I don't blame you because it is so bad. No one likes it. Like, literally the only people who play it are people who are wanting some form of just knowledge on what is going on because that's currently the only way that you can get the knowledge. So I really do think that they are going to be releasing something for Key before Kingdom Hearts 4. So there's that. Um, I actually wouldn't be surprised if what they did is uh, basically put all of the story for Key into that game so that people can play through that and then people will just be playing Dark Road on their phones and that way people are prepared more for Kingdom Hearts 4 because let's be honest there is going to be a lot of chaos going on in Kingdom Hearts 4 so yeah uh, it definitely expect something for Kingdom Hearts to be revealed for the PS5 I don't know what it is but there's going to be something I just know it <laughs> Um, but we'll just have to wait and see exactly what they decide to do. But yeah, expect there to be something. Maybe it will be some uh, actually released with the PS5. So yeah. Uh, but that is pretty much it. Which honestly, I think is kind of weird. Thinking that tomorrow for me, but later today for you guys, we are going to be able to know what's going on for the ps5 and by the end of this year the ps5 is going to be in some of our hands honestly i don't think it's going to be in mine but it is going to be in some people's hands so that's going to be a really awesome thing for many people and i think that a lot of fans are going to be really really excited to finally find out what the heck is going to be going on the PlayStation 5 so yeah those are my last minute predict uh, predictions again if you guys are going are shocked by this and don't know what the heck I'm talking about um, there will be a link again to their twitch uh, to the PlayStation twitch down in the description below make sure to head over there by one o'clock and if this is already after that that you're watching this then yell at me for how much i got wrong or how much i got right because honestly that's gonna be fun to just sift through <laughs> but anyways guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like leave your thoughts and theories down in the comments below if you are gonna leave a com uh, leave a theory make sure to use the hashtag theory review so i can talk about it in a future video and of course if you are new please subscribe and ring that notification bell. We'll get back to the My Hero Academia and Miraculous content very soon. Including, next week we are going to be talking about the Lion Miraculouses. Yep, there's two. But anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. But on!